Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to actually study pharmacology in such a way that you will learn and understand side by side. So first of all, the first key point in pharmacology is to watch any any video. I'm not suggesting you to uh, watch my videos i'm just saying that watch any video which you find easier for yourself and the video shouldn't be longer than like one hour that uh, otherwise you will lose your attention so watch any relevant video of the topic for instance i'm just going uh, for instance i'm going to study journal pharmacology so watch videos of journal pharmacology and get an idea of what is journal pharmacology what are the contents of journal pharm pharmacology etc number one point is watch any video number two is to read read your book now what i uh, prefer to study is this kadzen book and uh, this, this this is the mini kadzen i study from mini kadzen and uh, actually i don't have the main page so i study from mini kadzen and uh, you can see that for instance if we are focusing on the um, the subject which uh, this chapter which is uh, about introduction so it just has this the nature of drugs pharmacology principles it is based on just uh, like four to five or maximum six pages and it has some mcqs all the chapters have 10 mcqs or 10 to 15 mcqs at the end and they have their answers mentioned as well so these mcqs are very important and uh, this chapter reading the chapter is very important so the second point is to read the book when you have read the book then what you have to do is to make your own notes making your own notes is very very important now how will you make notes i will tell you that how to make notes Generally, if I'm studying any kind of any drug, for instance, if we see uh, that I'm going to study uh, calcium blockers, for instance, I'm going to study calcium blocker or any drug, I'll make the note by the name of the drug. I'll write the pharma pharmacokinetics, then pharmacodynamics of the drug i'll just make a table of it and then uh, i'll write the adverse effects adverse effects mechanism of action mechanism of action mechanism of resistance and uh, classification and um, I guess that's it I think these are all the points that cover your uh, you know that cover all the aspects and yes number one uh, another point is clinical uses clinical uses are also very important of any drug so what you have to how you have to make a table of any drug first of all you'll write its pharmacokinetics then the pharmacodynamics okay it covers many uh, it covers many points okay uh, i'll tell you in all my lectures that how to cover these points then i will tell you the adverse effects then the mechanism of action then the mechanism of resistance then classification and clinical uses so this is how you study pharmacology and uh, for pharmacology i suggest to you to study mini kadzen or any book which your medical school has uh, guided you or preferred to for you to study uh, or you find uh, easier for you and uh, that's all. Thank you so much.